Spike Flasville. We're heading to the Canadian Club building today. We're going to meet the contestants of this year's Hide a Case Challenge. This is a promotion Canadian Club's been doing for over 40 years. What they've done is they've taken a case of Canadian Club, hidden it on a tropical island, Tonga, off the coast of Fiji, and I mean a tiny little island. So they've got eight finalists, four from Canada, four from the States, and these guys have to compete to find the case, and I guess when they find it, they get to keep the Canadian Club, which is pretty good, right? But they also get $100,000. Oh, you guys got jackets and everything. This is pro. Very nice. Team USA, we got Team Canada over here. All right, and the only female contestant, what's your name? I'm Christina Beal. And you're from? Uh, Washington, D.C. area. Okay, and, and who else do we have here? I'm John Daly from uh, New Jersey. And? I'm Rob Aiken from London, Ontario. Okay, so so going into this competition, you guys, what are you, what are you expecting, I guess? It was a pleasure. Everything. Yeah. So many. <laughs> Nothing and everything. Insanity. So you're, you're the guide on this tour to Tonga. Have you ever been there before? Uh, close, but no cigar. No, I, I, I've been I've been to uh, some of the neighboring islands. I've been to South Pacific, never to Tonga. But as a, as a good luck uh, mojo, a bit of mojo. I see Patrick's here. I was drinking on the Danforth Ave in Toronto. I met a Tongan guy, um, and and I told him I was going there, and he told me to f off. And I was like, no, seriously, man, I'm going to Tonga. His name's Moa Hengi, and on my last day there, we have a little bit of free time. I'm going to go hang out with his mother and his family in Tonga and, and see what life in Tonga would be like and why he left for Canada. Nice, and get some home cooking, man. Get some home cooking, that's what we're going to need. <laughs> what, what's, what's the ratio of, like, drinks to finding, you know? like. Who knows? It could be a drinking contest when it comes down to it. But I really think it's just going to be a lot of puzzle finding, a lot of clues, a lot of running around, just like... As Kevin was saying, just being totally sleep deprived, and it's just going to be awesome. Everything about it. Okay, so we, we got two members of Team USA here. Yep. We got we got a member from Team Canada. Uh, <laughs> has, has the rivalry begun already, or what? Well, it, it began a minute we set foot. Not even. It began like online. Oh, online, yeah, on Facebook. It was it was it was on. Rob Gale from Connecticut. Okay, and yeah, and you're one of the eight contestants. One of the eight contestants. I'm on the U.S. team. And as I understand, you're you're from Windsor originally, I actually though. I am from Windsor, Ontario. So so a bit of a, a bit of a traitor. Um, yeah, I've been called that. Yeah. But it, it's okay. I, I'd like to think that when I find the case, it's going to be a North American win, is what I'd like to say. Does having a girl on the U.S. team serve as an advantage at all? I think so. Answer this question here. I would think so, definitely. <laughs> yeah? Definitely serves as an advantage. advantage. It's okay. <laughs> what are you looking forward to? What can they look forward to? I, I'm looking forward to seeing them hurt. I mean, anybody who has an opportunity to make 100000 bucks in a week, I want to know that they worked hard to get it. I want to see the pain on their faces when they got to get up at 6 or 7 o'clock in the morning and start playing this game when they stayed out with me really late the night before going, it's so cool, it's the Thursday Traveler, and in the morning they're going to be crushed and I'll be going, suck it up, guy, suck it up. So we're here inside Canadian Club. The Canadian Club is flowing, and as you can see, all the contestants are already having a great time. They're leaving for Tonga tonight. So I will talk to you guys later. I think we need to get some drinks. <laughs>